Recently, I've been using the scoreboard command in a lot of my videos, such as this rustic tree generator, this giant mushroom spawn egg, and even this Elytra racetrack course. And as I've been making these, I've realized there's not a lot of documentation or help for how to use this command until now, because this is a full tutorial on the scoreboard command in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now to make this video a little bit easier for you to follow, I've broken the command down into six sections, which I'll show on the screen right now. So if you're just here for one portion, then feel free to skip forward to that section. All right, so we're gonna jump into the first portion and right here, creating and destroying an objective. Now, if you want to type these all out in chat, you can do that. I've got lots of them put into these command blocks to make it easier for me, but I'll also be showing you a lot of it in chat. So to make your first objective, you're going to type scoreboard objectives and you're going to click add to create a new one. And now you can type the name. It can be whatever you want. For my example, I'm going to be calling it counter and then dummy. If you're in bedrock edition, you have to use a dummy type. This is just the only option available. If you're playing in Java edition, there's many more. And then you can press enter. And you'll get that message saying that the scoreboard has been created successfully. Now that'll be done with this command. And this one is how you get rid of it. It's pretty much the same. You don't have to type the dummy and you'll click remove instead of add. And again, you'll get that same message counter was destroyed successfully. Now I'm going to create it again. And now you'll see I have counter displayed on the right hand side. However, when you do this, you won't have that immediately, but we'll get into that later on how you can get it to show on the side like mine. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to set a player's score. And it's with this command, scoreboard players set at P. This is just a selector. That means it'll do the closest player. Counter, that's our objective. And then five is the score we're setting it to. So if we press this, we'll now appear on the right hand side with a score of five. This one will set it to two and you'll see it switch to two. It's the same command, just a two instead of a five. And then reset will remove us entirely. In the meantime, we'll get our score back to two and we'll move on to adding and subtracting. These are very basic operations. To add one, you'll use this command, add one. You'll click it, you'll see our score goes up to three. Again, we'll go up to four. Remove one, very same command, just remove instead of add and you'll see it'll take one away from our score. Three down to two. Randomize, this one's a very useful command. I've been using it a lot in my creations. Scoreboard players are random. These two last numbers are the range and it is inclusive. So we can get any number between one and 10, including one and 10. And so if we click it, you'll see five, click it again, six, click it again, eight, test. And this is gonna test if a player has a score between these last two numbers and it is inclusive as well. And if it does, it'll activate a comparator which will activate this command block, which says Ooga Booga. Right now you'll see my score is five, which means if we use it, it will activate and say Ooga Booga. If we randomize six is no longer between, we press it again, it'll turn off. That's the basics. And with just those, you can get a lot out of this command. But now I'm gonna go back to what I told you about at the beginning. And that is how to show your scoreboard on the right hand side of your screen, like I have. Now to show you where we started from, I'm gonna get rid of the objective and then I'm gonna recreate it. And you'll see it's been created successfully. And now there's two main options. I'm going to show you in chat. So you go scoreboard objectives set display. And now you'll have three options technically. However, this one isn't necessarily useful for showing it to the player. You'll have below name and sidebar. We click sidebar and then we say which objective we want to display on the sidebar counter. You can display it right there. Now, if we give ourselves a value of five, you'll see it appears on the sidebar just like that. And it would be the same for any other player in your lobby. The other option you have is display below name. This one's very useful in some cases. However, it's not the most useful in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you were to use this, it would display the objective and your score under your name tag on multiplayer. Moving forward, we're gonna get into the operations. And this one is actually a very tricky command to understand. And to help me demonstrate, I've got my NPC right here. So this command block will give him a value of five. And now you'll see we both have a value of five. I'm gonna randomize my values. Now I have two and my NPC has five. And we're gonna start here from the left and we're just gonna go right. So if we wanted to do plus equals, then we'll type this command. And when we type the plus equals operation, you'll notice mine changed from a two to a seven. What the plus equals will do 
is it will take the value of mine and it will add it with the other players and then it will set mine to that value. And so two plus five would equal seven. And so my new value is seven. The minus equal does the same thing. It will just minus instead of plus. So if we do minus seven minus five two, my new value is two. And likewise, multiply and divide are these two exactly how you would expect. And now we have right here the percent equals. This is called a modulus. And what it does is it will divide one number by another number and then it will set the value to the remainder. So I've gone ahead and I've changed my score and I've changed the score of the NPC to three and mine to eight. So if we were to run the modulus command, it would be eight divided by three and then our value would be set to the remainder. So eight divided by three would be two with the remainder of two. So if we run the command, you'll see my new value will be changed to two. If this is confusing to you, you can just Google how a modulus operator works and there's plenty of documentation on this outside of Minecraft. All right, now moving on to the greater than and less than. These operators will make it so that one player's score is either greater than or equal to another player's score. So right now you'll see my score is seven and the NPC score is five. So if I wanted to make my score less than or equal to the NPC score, I would use the less than operator. And you'll see after using that operator, it brings us both down to five. Now, if I'm already less than the NPC, like you see here where I am four and he is five, then when we do this command, you'll see it remains unchanged since I'm already less than his. However, if we were to do the greater than operator, it would bring me up to five. And now these final two operators, we have two brackets going into each other and the equals. And they're actually very simple. The two brackets going into each other will switch the values of the two scores. So right now I'm four, the NPC is five. We do the operation, now I am five and the NPC is four. And the equal will just set the first score equal to the second score. This portion is by far the most complicated of the whole scoreboard command, but if you feel like you understood that, then you'll be ready. The final thing I wanted to mention in this video is how you can use the score in an execute command. This is very useful and I use it in a lot of my creations. So I'm gonna show you how you can do it easily, how you can do it a little more complicated, and a simple error that most people make when trying to do the complex method. The easiest way to use a score in an execute command is to use if score at p, just the closest player, the objective you want to check, and then matches. And now you can do matches just a single number to see if it matches three, or if you want to do a number, two dots, followed by another number, it will test the score to see if it is anywhere between these two numbers inclusive. And then if that is true, then it will run this command. So now if it's between three and eight, which my score is, it will say ooga booga. There you go. Now using this command to test for entities such as the NPC is a little more difficult. As you can see here, it's the very same command. We're testing if the score of that entity matches between three and eight, and then it will say ooga booga. However, if we run this command, you'll get this error message. Only one entity is allowed, but the provided selector allows more than one execute subcommand if score test failed. Pretty much what this error message is saying is that you're testing too many entities that could have too many scores. However, a simple way around that is to use this command. You execute the same command as the NPC, and then you test at S. This does the exact same thing as that other command would do. However, now it will just work. Now you'll see this works because it's testing each entity individually instead of testing all entities at the same time. And that's pretty much all there is about the scoreboard command in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And while it may look complex, honestly, I only use about half of these commands and I make some pretty impressive creations, I think. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And until next time.